Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, we saved Bruma, but honestly, the much more important thing is that I've received a tip-off about some ludicrously elite Boing gear that I might just be able to get my hands on if I do some more work with the Thieves Guilds. Which is what brings me here into the Gerald Mountains nearby to the Shrine of Azura, because apparently... I've got to break into a monastery and steal a sacred stone or something. Here we go, a monastery of the blind moth priests, I think somebody said. So, okay, can kill human guardians, but don't kill innocents. I'm guessing the difference being the guardians are armed, if they're not armed, don't kill them. So, no idea where this monastery is precisely, but... Okay, never mind, it just popped into existence in front of me. Brilliant. Honestly, I was expecting a much nastier climb, like, way up into the mountains than this. This is actually a surprisingly easy stroll. Brilliant. And yes, indeed, officially, I might be able to get a monk to help me. Okay, let's see what we can do. Starting off with uh, monk's quarters. Not even a crime to break in there. So, okay, do not go in to the actual, you know... Churchy bit yet, though. Oh. Okay. Hardlocked crypt. I'm guessing that might be where we're actually needing to be going. Okay, you know what? We can just pose as a pilgrim. Shh. This is our time for silent prayer. You may wait outside or quietly in here. We usually finish around the 11th bell. Okay, do you mean 11... A.M. or P.M. Because, also, who are you actually, like, worshipping? If I do it quietly, can I examine your shrine? Okay. Afflictions. Uh, banished. And, oh, hang on. Pension of the Ancestor Moth. Ah, right. I thought these guys rang a bell. I think possibly they get mentioned somewhere in Skyrim. Yes, they're all about, like, the future and the past. And thus are connected to the Elder Scrolls. Which have admittedly, yes, been coming up several times uh, during the course of this game. So, okay, I suspect we might be getting nearby to uh, what the Elder Scrolls are actually for during the Oblivion Crisis. It would be a bit odd during an Elder Scrolls game if at no point anybody tried to use an Elder Scroll for something. They read the scrolls, uh, go blind, uh, that would suggest everybody in the crypt is blind. Which, ah... If I was very good at potentially lying to them, then maybe I could persuade them to cooperate. Or, if I was very good at sneaking, they might not know I was there in the first place. Okay, options. Oh, and don't expect them to be pushovers. Apparently they are experts in the art of Gudrun, whatever that is precisely. But I'm guessing it means they're good at beating people up. Okay, well, while they're doing their thing, that means they're not in their quarters, so just crack that open. Nope, nothing too dramatic, but plenty of, uh, yeah, cloth and clothing. The book was implying this is how they survive. They tend to ancestor moths, potentially these moths out here. The moths produce cloth, they make clothes, that's how they pay for everything. Also, I think these guys are now done with their prayers. We serve the retired moth priests from the Imperial City. The work they do leads to progressive blindness. They live in utter darkness in the secret catacombs. Of course, it doesn't affect them because they're blind. Okay, so complete darkness. That might be something I need to keep in mind. I have no idea what you're talking about. And as for the stone... Either he's playing dumb, or it's a secret even he doesn't know. Ah, monk number two, however, he's a bit more open about the secret he's probably supposed to be keeping. I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I know you are trustworthy. The blind monks in the catacombs guard the stone. It's said to have magical powers. Don't tell Heridi I said anything. I could be banished for telling you. And I'm guessing catacombs in the crypt, right? Well, all right then. I'll show you. Please be discreet and don't bother the other monks. All right, nice and easy. Okay, he opens the door, steps back outside, and now 
we're in. So, okay, not quite as pitch black as promised. In fact, there are actually, um, lights here. But, alright, I'm pretty sure I've still got some torches of my own. Though, okay, several torches are also available right here. Suggesting he's completely okay with the idea of uh, me using torches. So, alright, what could we do to give ourselves a bit of an edge here? Ah, I know precisely what we should do. We should bulk up our sneak, just to make sure nobody detects us. Right now my default sneak is, yeah, 69. So as a result of that, I only need to boost it by 30 odd to get it to 100. Which means I should be able to craft a spell that lets me do that fairly cheaply and that lasts a long time. So okay, before we go in, that's what we're going to do. Here we go, sneak on self to almost 100, 30 seconds, cost under 100 magicka, easy. And okay, there's no reason not to do this in the middle of the night, just in case that's when they're, you know, nice and sleepy. And as for, yes, my sneaking abilities, oh yeah, now, now we are in good shape. In fact, that's true. Two spells I should be using at this point. Scouting lets me see people very far away, barely anyone here by the looksy of it, and then go back over to sneaking as need be. Gotcha. Who's there? Guess it was nothing. Oh, okay. We've got a person here going to... Oh, well, this is just perfect. One key. I'm good at stealing keys. Keys weigh nothing. Just have that off you. Okay. Got a key. Hello? Who's there? Must have been the wind. This person is extremely good at detecting me. Okay, just get the sneak on. Now I've got maxed out sneak. It's all going to be fine. Just work around you. No trouble, buddy. Gonna rob ya. While I'm passing by, given I am literally here to rob you. So, I see no reason why we wouldn't do said thing. Keep on keeping on. And as long as I've got my maxed out sneak, there should not be a problem. Alright, it's all going to be A-OK. -okay. Just eyes open. Ready for any trouble. John, check the map. Here we go, we're going a long way in this direction. Just be careful of corridors. There's a possibility that yes, these guys might have a routine that might lead them to be, on occasion, traveling back and forth between, you know, bedroom, dining room, etc. Steal everything on the way past. Actually, that was not much in red. That was not officially stealing. So, okay. That route to the right looks more direct, which makes me think this side route might well be a bit safer. So far, fairly quiet, mind you. Keep up with the sneaking. Just round the outside. Uh, if I get within... Oh. That is a rat. That is A-OK. -okay. That's... We're allowed to just take out. Because it's a rat. That's legitimate. Not a problem. Okay. That gets me to... Yeah, far side of this room. 100% there's going to be people in there. So don't worry about that. Just keep on keeping on. We're doing well so far. Nice and peaceful. Didn't really need this key. But you know what? It makes me feel badass to do some pickpocketing. Okay. Once again... Activate scouting. Check for people. That might be sleeping individuals. Uh, or it might be. That feels like sleeping individuals. So okay. Straight past you guys. Crack open the door. Alright, it turns out I'm actually pretty bloody good at this. And uh, I was right. They may be blind, uh, but that doesn't mean, you know, they don't have uh, routines uh, involving sleeping straight through, straight down. Oh, this is going smooth. I'm feeling badass right now. Keep on keeping on. 
Beautiful. Okay, down to a cavern. And this one is... Okay, this one's a bit bigger. Like, a lot bigger, but that's fine. They can't see, but they can hear. That means uh, acrobatics. We don't make noise. Because if we do, that could most definitely be a problem. Alright, just keep on keeping on. Head in this direction. Keep your eyes open for traps and... That's a skeleton. I wasn't really expecting a skeleton, to be honest. Like, I thought we were sneaking past some, some priests, but... Okay, possibly the teachings of Gudrun are in fact, um, yes, like necromancy and whatnot. So just take you out, buddy. Okay, well, now I don't have any of my bloody normal ability set, because I kind of assumed uh, we weren't doing any of that nonsense. We were just doing, you know, all sorts of sneaking around and whatnot. So, okay, this is fine. You are a surprisingly tough skeleton. There is my marksman. Oh, yeah, that's a skeleton hero. That went pretty well, all things considered. Hopefully, nobody knows uh, their someone just got murdered. Oh, I tell you what, I like this place. This place is... Uh, Properly protected, so okay. Iron spikes everywhere. Looks like I could go a different route, but, 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 but. I feel like I don't need to. In fact, I may have just found a, an actual legitimate use for Mega Boing. So activate Mega Boing, and now jump. Holy flip, that was an actual legitimate real use for the spell Mega Boing. It turns out. I am a genius at being a thief. Oh, we're not done just yet, though. And then again, actually, there's one... There's one ghost at the end. Is it possible I could just... Oh, okay. The ghost turned around and started coming in this direction. If the ghost goes back the other way, then possibly, just possibly, I might be able... To sneak past a ghost without it knowing I was there. Which would be pretty bloody badass if I do say so myself. So, okay. Make sure sneak is maxed out. Right now, I'm pretty sure it's facing me. Pretty sure it just turned away. Right after him. Where did he just... Okay, he's over there. In and down and... Holy flip, we are now sneaking past ghosts. And here we go. We've made it. Because now, yes, the quest marker is a marker, not a door indicator. So, careful. I feel like, oh dear, you don't have a room this big, unless it could potentially go very wrong. Check. Nothing here, aside from one individual by the loops of it. But, I'm guessing, oh yeah. You're a priest, so I can take out people who are willing to draw arms on me. Not you, though. I'm guessing you can't be touched. Well, not without the blood price, anyway. Okay, by the Lucy of it, that's it on the right, right there. So just activate sneaky mode. Get down over to here. Jump it. Oh, it's one of those things. It's one of them. I know what that is. I've seen them before. Okay. There's a stone. I've seen these in I Laid Ruins. They shoot you. They're like magical turrets. So in which case... Oh. Oh, John, you might be about to be the most ridiculous badass who ever flipping lived. Which is... Oh! Ow! Ow! Okay, I think for some reason, somehow... You're not aware of the magical turret firing magic. All I need to do is get near enough to get up, grab it, and then use the triggers to pull it over, right? Just wait for a blast of cold. Blast of cold. Okay, get up. Get it. And then go, 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 go. Drop down. Boom! Flipping textbook. And the priest knows nothing. 
aside from the fact that the magical turret that he set up next to him, presumably for this exact purpose, was repeatedly firing at something. But aside from that, he knows nothing. Okay, I've got ya the stupid stone, but now that I've done this for you, I want one, money, two, a promotion, and three, some form of explanation as to what this is all for, because I'm not 100% sure I trust the guy wearing the Daedric mask. I hear the monks were most hospitable. Yes, indeed they were. And not just that, I got in and out without a single drop of blood being spilt. Okay, aside from one rat and one skeleton. But the last one doesn't even have blood, so that one definitely shouldn't count. And uh, in general, I feel like I did this better than you expected. So I want answers. Capital! Now I can see past the palace defenses. Oh, it's a good thing the Emperor didn't know they had this stone. He would have had it destroyed or taken it from them and kept it under lock and key in the palace. When I have learned what I need to know, I will call for you again. Let us leave Helvius' house now. He has served me well and deserves his peace. Okay, so that's pretty clear. We're planning to rob the Imperial Palace, I flippin' love it! And you wanted the stone, because yeah, it's like a magical seeing stone, meaning you can scout out the defences, I say. And unfortunately, he's still not willing to talk, though to be honest he has given me a pretty good idea as to the heist he's ultimately planning. Okay, in which case, back to the waterfront to get the next message, though... While I'm actually, you know, nearby and whatnot, I believe, yeah, just across the water, there were a whole bunch of bandits hanging out in this ruin. I have not given up trying to find an elven gear out in the wild just yet. Oh, I tell you what, these flipping bandits are getting all fancy-like. They're actually going invisible and summoning zombies and also deciding they want to turn their attention to crabs, primarily. You're not very good at being invisible, are you, by the way? And bloody hell, there's a bowman here, but once again, I'm pretty sure that is Mithril I'm seeing. Because everyone is bloody determined to not go over to flipping Elven Gear, despite the fact the heavy lads have gone over to Ebony at this point. Not even just Mithril, this guy's wearing bloody chainmail. It just makes no sense. They're using glass weapons. Why isn't your armor better? Yep, chainmail boots alongside a glass mace. I don't understand what's happening. Okay, back to the Imperial City. Last time I was here, breaking into Methrodil's house did a pretty good job at kickstarting a message being handed over. It's good to see you again. I have a message for you from the Grey Fox. Okay, on this occasion, it's a Muse who apparently at some point successfully joined the Thieves Guild. Good for him. The Grey Fox has a task for you. Meet him at Melintus Ancris's house in Coral. Okay, so it would appear, yes, there are way more Thieves Guild members just dotted around the world uh, than I was expecting. Like, I thought there were not many of us, but apparently he's just on first name I'm borrowing your house terms with people in every major bloody city. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I was assuming it was going to be one of the nice houses by the centre of town, but no, it's one of the shacks right at the edge. Dear oh flipping dear. My work with Sevilla's stone has revealed that I need something special for my plans. It is a small item in the possession of a powerful court wizard. Will you do this for me? I will pay you well. Okay, kind of depends which court we're talking about here. Some of them don't really like me so much. Capital. Bring me the Arrow of Extrication. It has a key-shaped head. Braville's court wizard, Fathis Aran, recently acquired this unique item. You may kill Fathis if necessary, but not in the castle. Okay, he is a very up for murder all of a sudden, but no, 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 no. I'm doing things properly, even if you're not. Alright, back in Bravel and we know what to do first. Obviously, the most well-connected person in the city, Wretched Aya. Bathis is also the wizard in the tower outside of town. He keeps his most treasured items there, not in the castle. Only Fathis can open the door to the tower. 
But there is supposed to be a secret passage somewhere in the castle that takes him to his tower. I was just stepping outside to try and scout out the tower, though, um, yes, I do rather enjoy the Bravil Guard just standing right here in plain sight of a demons emerging from an oblivion gate, and he is not interested in doing anything about that. But yeah, my question is, what tower are we talking about here? Because they said outside the castle, but... Okay, that's a ruin, not really like a tower or anything. No, I've checked every direction around the town, and the only thing that even remotely looks like a tower is definitely held by bandits. Bandits who are wearing, of course, bloody chainmail and mithril and no elven gear. Oh, never mind this, is it? Okay, it's just yes, no one can get in. Possibly the bandits were attempting to scout out the joint, but... Okay, even with my incredible boying abilities, we're not getting in here. Still, no reason not to, you know, check everything. He might also have a house in town. If he does, that might be of use. Okay, no house, but Captain the Guard who's just patrolling through town... He's the court wizard. He has a room in the North Wing. Gloomy fellow. I've heard he consorts with Daedra. I'd steer clear of him if I were you. Okay, North Wing. We've got a location. But yeah, no house. Apparently, wherever he lives in the castle, combined with his own personal tower, that's good enough. Though, I did locate, and I missed this last time I was here, a skooma den. Although, tragically, no one appears to be actually selling skooma in the skooma den. Which is a shame, because yes, that is basically, as best as I can tell, the best zoom juice in the game. Like, my best fortify speed potion is 33 points. And that is nothing next to skooma. Like, twice as good. At some point or another, I need to find a skooma supplier. Alright, that would probably be rather useful. Still... Into the castle, and we know how to sort this nonsense out, alright? What we're looking for is uh, those suspicious pillars, and... Apparently no one would mind uh, if I, like, cracked open the display cases uh, containing jewellery inside uh, this court. Can't steal the things, though, but it's okay for me to crack it open and have a look-see. Any chance anyone's got anything to say about the court wizard, by the way? Nope, just the same thing over and over. Court wizard at North Wing. So, alright, that would appear to be North. And this would appear to be more display cases I could just crack open for a little bit of extra bonus lock picking. Though, yes indeed. All replicas, none of it real. Dear oh flipping dear. Though, okay, that's... Well, you said the North Wing. That's the barracks to the North. So, where's he in that case? Okay, the North Wing is... That's blatantly East game. Meanwhile, the East Wing is located to the South. Genius. Absolute conking genius. Let's assume, given there seems to be no other way in, there's not going to be a guard standing immediately behind the North Wing that's not to the North Door. So, in we go. And John, we know what this is time for. Activate Scouting, which has been... Such a bloody useful spell, actually. So, okay, and... Right, that just... That just put me over the limit to leveling up, which is not what I want to happen, but we are where we are, I suppose. Okay, just sneak in. There's his room. And I thought I just saw someone way over in that direction. Okay, that could be a different room, or it could be... Okay, it's just a different room. In fact, I think I see the secret on the map right here. It's going to be you, isn't it? There we go. It's always the bloody pillar. Oh, and a grand soul gem as well. Well, Lardy Flippin' Dar will be using that. And uh, yes, indeed, the arrow's not here. We knew the arrow wasn't here. We were specifically told uh, he keeps his stuff in the tower. Right, crack open the door in the secret back room, and then on we flipping go. The problem is... Okay, it's half past six at night. I don't know when or if he uses this route himself. 
So, oh. There appears to be a person down there. Oh yeah, zooming in, which is a thing I can do but never remember to do. That is 100% a Dramora. So okay, that, that we can just attack. That's absolutely fine. Basically, screw you, down you go, buddy. Okay, that's fine. We're allowed to kill Dramora. They're not people. And oh bloody hell, we're going into um bit of a maze here. So okay, apparently we're supposed to be going in this direction ultimately. Which would suggest that this was the obvious gate to crack open. That seems to be going in the right direction. Okay. We're into... Oh. Water. Including... Is that just a... That's a crab. But yes, arrows and water don't, don't go together particularly well. Okay. If you wouldn't mind just stepping out of the water, buddy... I would appreciate it. Oh, we are properly in a maze right now. Okay. Everything is going to be... Oh. Okay. Crack open a few bits and pieces and... Someone is drawing and then undrawing a weapon. Oh. Hang on. I feel like this individual has friends. Okay, let's stick to the water tunnels. He's got friends, uh, and what we want is, uh, yes, not to run into his friends. That would be ideal. So we're just going to go this way, right here, straight past the water. That will mean fighting the odd crab or slaughterfish, but no problem with that, and... Okay, there's definitely... Oh, bloody... Okay, now I'm going possibly the wrong way. Ah, but hang on. I think I see... Okay, there's definitely another tunnel down there. Looking at the map, so okay. This is fine. I know how to do water breathing of uh, some description. I thought I did. No, hang on. It's called something else. It's called something beginning with A. Or B, very close to A. So, okay, buoyancy, gotcha. So, uh, straight down, hit anything that attacks me. And then just, yep, yeah, that means we're absolutely fine. Just give you a bit of a boop, buddy, lovely. Okay, we're definitely going, oh, blimey, we're going up a long way down here. There's, there's also bones. Oh, I love it. I love the bone sinking. That's great. Just top up that spell, if you'd be so kind. There better be... A tunnel. There we... I feel like that one's bigger. Whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it. It's me, Jenny. Okay, I'm underwater and... Oh, I'm thinking it, it's... It's... Oh, dear. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Where is he? Where is he? He's, he's faster than me because he's... Never mind. He's dead. Okay. It's... Also, John, you need to cast the breathing spell again. Otherwise, you're going to die. Okay, I'm guessing, therefore, yes, this is where, um, the guy gets rid of uh, anyone he doesn't like. Given the number of uh, humanish bones uh, inside his pet slaughterfish. And by the looks of it, just keep going in this direction. And if we are lucky... Apparently this goes outside. That's, that's not what I wanted. Uh, that's... How are we over here? This is literally the last place I wanted to be. I'm supposed to be the other bloody side of this area. Hang about. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't need to fight that guy. I think possibly that guy was for if, um, yes, what you did was uh, you came in from the outside. Because there was another entrance. It was just deep underwater, so I didn't recognize it. But now... Okay, now we've got it. So, I did not need to fight that fish. Like, at all. So, that brings me past all his friends. Uh, no trouble there. But, there's still a bit to go, mind. Uh, and officially, I'm... I'm spotted. I'm not sure by who, but apparently somebody is aware of all. Okay. I see you there, buddy. Could we maybe... Oh, dear. We're getting into, yes, various nasty bits and pieces going on, actually. How are we going to get past 
You idiots. Why aren't you hanging? Are you... Are you facing away right now at the perfect moment for me to sneak past you? I mean, he stepped into that side room and... Gosh darn it, that room is... Wait. How do I get to where I'm supposed to be going? Because this is a dead end. Okay, just... If I could just get to here, say. Now wait for him to... Okay, now he's going down there. If I kill this guy, is that blood price material? I don't know whether it is or not. And I don't know how to draw his attention over there. Because I would like his attention to be drawn over there. If you'd be so kind, just... Okay. Holy flip me, I just did it. I am the greatest thief in the world ever. And there we go. The door to the wizard's lair and presumably the keys inside. Meaning, yes, we can just get the thing. Let ourselves out the front door. Boom. And the time is quarter to 11. So he may or may not be in bed yet. We'll have to see. But in, out, nobody dead aside from a fish. Okay, I see. Oh, hang on. What on earth do I see? I'm concerned that I see a large, not humanoid creature dotted about in the next room. So, okay. Possibly, okay. Looks like a daydroth to me. Just ignore it, John. Just ignore it. We don't need to go poking everything. We are supposed to just be getting in and getting out. Oh, yeah. This guy is guarding his own tower with Daedra, he summons. Okay, now that, that makes sense. And bloody hell, this is, this is getting nasty. All right, this guy's got giant monster fish and Daedra and whatnot. But okay, I can do this. Activate my sneaking spells. Uh, we can just get straight past him. Straight past you. I can see where he is. I can see which way he's facing. Straight around the back. And uh, on we Go. Boom. Alright, I've got effectively sneak 100 at the moment. I'm sneaking. I don't know what this is, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to sneak past it, actually. Okay, we've got a bit of a small, small, small fight. Small fight. Bit of a tiny fight. Bit of a shame. Who are we even fighting right now? Are we fighting him? We might be fighting him. It's hard to say. Okay, you know what? Screw it. You want to do a flipping summoning fight? Let's do a summoning fight. Crack this open. Screw you. Then we'll just get over to here. Yeah, you know what? I've got my own flipping death claw. Don't use this. Okay, what the? Okay, we're, we're taking out. There's definitely... We're definitely taking out some flipping... Is this guy going to know what's going on at this point, by the way? Okay, this is this is all fine. Take you out. Then go over to this. Go over to you. Just rush the summoner. Rush the summoner. Is he dead? Okay, one of them's dead. You are fine for the time being. I love how long... Oh! Okay, you've made a mistake, buddy. You do not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me in terms of... Okay, you don't want to do that, though. That That's fine. Right! Uh, Deathclaw, right, you shoo! Sent him out. Okay, just do a tiny bit of healing. No, 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 buddy. Captain in no armor goes down. A job done. I really hope there's no blood price for that, because I do not see how we were sneaking past them two. Okay, in, get the thing... Out. We're not killing... Actually, you know what? We could kill... Yeah, this guy. That's allowed in the tower. But we don't want to. Okay? We're going to do this clean, aside from... Okay. So there's going to be some slight issues with monsters. And just get you out. Then get my Pokemon on the field. Where's my Pokemon? Where's my... Where's my Pokemon? Bloody hell. Okay, there we go. Conjuration going up. Then you are ice type. So activate fire type attacks. Oh yeah, that's tearing him apart. I love it. Okay, make sure we get the soul though. Because we're basically out of charge at this point. So go. Alright, there's a bit of that on you. Finish you off, bud. Okay, he's, 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 he's a bit difficult to finish off without the fire, as it turns out. There we go, we got the soul. Good, 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 good. Thank you, Daedroth. Um, just get down to all of this nonsense. Takes a while to scroll down to this sometimes, and... What do you mean, not in? Bloody hell, every time. 
Screw it, we're using the Great Assault Jammer. I need charge in this. And oh yeah, that is annihilating you, you stupid bastard. What is that? That is... Oh, I think that might be him, actually. Okay. That's that's fine. I think he's there in his tower doing his own thing. We might be able to get in and... I'm mildly worried there's no quest marker. I mean, it must be in there with him, right? Okay. In. Nice and quiet. Check everything. Altar. Chests. No. Him. Maybe and... Okay. A tower key. Take that. That means I can now leave. Alright, straight out through the front door. Though... Can't have but notice. Strange key. Fascinating. What would a strange key do? And Oh, it's going to be that chest in the background over there, isn't it? Okay. What if I was to wait until he wasn't here? Because, uh, logically, he is uh, the court wizard. It's night. He's at his tower. If I just go upstairs and wait until day, he'll be at his job. Then he won't... Oh, yeah. That's the answer. That's the answer, right? Why can't I use stairs all of a sudden? Okay, I forgot how to use stairs for a second. It's all fine. Okay, 10 hours should do it. That should take me to about noon. So that's got to be during his work shift over at the castle. So that means he won't be here. But I've already got his keys, meaning everything is going to... You just live here 24 hours a day now, don't you? Dear oh flipping dear. Okay. We're not killing him. We're not doing it. Alright, we are not going to kill him because we don't kill people in the Thieves Guild. Aside from those two guys, but they didn't even have names, so that's fine. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to try and I can't telekinesis that chest. I could telekinesis that book. Is that book important? Hang on, check if that book's important. No, 25 value, that is not that useful at all. I'd say this here is an excellent time for an invisibility potion. Activate that. I am now invisible. And now we just go to here. Open the chest, which is going to break everything. And... Okay, it is there. It's there. Key-shaped arrowhead. Okay, we're going to take that. We're also just going to rob him, because I feel like it. I'm going to take that. There we go. Get that now. Now, now run. Now, now run. Now run and... He didn't spot me. Step outside. He's none the wiser. Presumably at some point he'll figure out that's been stolen. No idea what it does, by the way. Just kind of appears to be an arrowhead. But apparently it's important for some reason. Hmm. I'd hoped for the whole arrow. But that is not your fault. I will have to have it repaired. This arrowhead advances my plan to... Well, never mind. I may have need of you again in the near future if my plans hold. Here is your reward. I am also promoting you to Master Thief in the Thieves' Guild. Fathis Uls of the Imperial City will be your new fence. Okay, I like how he's playing Super KG when previously, during the last mission, he very specifically said... Oh my goodness, this will really help with the upcoming heist at the Imperial Palace. The bastard's still not willing to tell me anything, by the way. He's being very to... rude, given I'm basically doing everything right now. And immediately, we're ready for the next mission too. So, okay, once again, back to the Imperial City. Oh, on the way though, given yes, everyone only comes out at night, as we're doing Thieves' Guild business, how about we level up in our lovely tiny shack right by the waterfront. So, nice long nap. Hang on, what's going on? I've been interrupted in terms of my sleep, but um, apparently I get to level up anyway. So, okay, level 17, brilliant. Intelligence, capped out. Absolutely love it. Agility, moving in the right direction, but that is being slow and difficult to raise these days, because uh, security, sneak, marksman, those are all already pretty bloody high. 
and then willpower 60 is not bad but yet it's getting more and more difficult to level skills at this point still I am surprised intelligence beat agility to be my second skill a hundreds. The Grey Fox requests a meeting. Please travel to Ganradel's house in Shadenhall. The man really does have friends everywhere and... Did that just say the boots of spring heel jack? Because... Okay. For those of you who don't know, by the way, uh, spring heel jack is uh, an actual bit of... Uh, British, I believe, Victorian era folklore. Often confused with Jack the Ripper, spring Hill Jack was a strange demonic figure whose power was to jump incredibly high and... Uh, oh, thank you. Tip off in the comments because uh, I think we might be about to get the ultimate boing boots. Okay, I would say that's enough for now, but next time, put together the boots of spring Hill Jack. The rest of my boing gear... An acrobatic skill of 66, and mega boing boosting acrobatics by 74, we are going to be the bounciest hero of Kavach in the history of Cyrodiil. So, hopefully you join me next time for that. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.